Mastering polite language and tone in conversations. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on conversational English. In today's video, we are going to discuss a very important aspect of communication, polite language and tone. Polite language and tone are essential components of formal language. Being polite doesn't just mean knowing the right words to say, but also how to say them. Let's delve deeper into this topic. Politeness is a way of showing consideration for others and being aware of the social norms and cultural considerations. It involves using language that is respectful, courteous, and considerate. Politeness can vary significantly from culture to culture, and what is considered polite in one culture may not be in another. Importance of polite language. Polite language is important for various reasons. 1. Building relationships. It helps in building positive relationships with others. 2. Positive impressions. It creates a positive impression of you in the minds of others. 3. Avoiding misunderstandings. It helps in avoiding misunderstandings and conflicts. 4. Effective communication. It facilitates more effective communication. Formal language often requires a higher level of politeness. It is used in professional settings, official documents, and when addressing someone of higher status or someone you are not familiar with. Characteristics of formal language 1. Complex sentences Use of complex sentences and advanced vocabulary 2. Passive voice Frequent use of passive voice 3. Avoiding slang and contractions Avoiding use of slang, colloquial expressions, and contractions E.g. can't, won't Examples of polite language in formal contexts 1. Requests 2. Less polite Give me the report 3. Polite Could you please provide me with the report? 4. Offers 5. Less polite Do you want coffee? 6. Polite May I offer you a cup of coffee? 7. Suggestions 8. Less polite you should do this. 9. Polite. It might be beneficial if you consider doing this. It is important to adjust your language based on the level of formality required in a particular situation. Here are some tips on how to adjust your language. 1. Use titles and last names. In formal situations, it is polite to address people by their titles and last names e.g., Mr. Smith, Dr. Johnson. 2. Use formal greetings. Use formal greetings such as, good morning, or good afternoon, instead of casual greetings like, hi, or hey. 3. Avoid informal language. Avoid using informal language, slang, and contractions in formal situations. 4. Use indirect questions. Use indirect questions instead of direct questions. E.g., could you tell me where the office is? Instead of, where is the office? That brings us to the end of this video. Remember, being polite is not just about the words you use but also about your tone of voice and body language. Practice using polite language and adjusting your language based on the level of formality required in different situations. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next one.